I'm Trish Kelly, owner of Australian Labradoodles Midwest Connection. I am in the home of Brenda, one of my trainers, and I'm here with Nutmeg and Maverick's litter of nine puppies. It's a nice size litter. All of these have been adopted, and they'll be three weeks old on Monday. So they've gotten their eyes open now. They're just eating still and pooping and playing a little bit. Um, not much activity yet. Just a lot of, all they really do at this age is sleep. So, you know, it's, they're up for a little bit and then they sleep again. So, um, because of the size of the litter, we're going to introduce them to food a little bit. And Brenda has done that one time so far. Just um, a real, just a real runny mush of the Life's Abundance dog food that they'll be getting all along. And just to make sure everybody's tummies are getting full as um, nutmeg starts to begin the weaning process in the next week. So they will transfer uh, transition over to the Life's Abundance gruel, which is a little less runny, and then onto the dry Life's Abundant, Abundance dog food. Um, so we'll get started here. Like I said, these are all adopted and the families have named them all. So I'll call, I'll show you each puppy and tell you their name. Um, they're doing fantastic. They're a nice, healthy bunch. We have just one puppy that's starting to crawl out of the pool here, which is our Elsa. And she's escaped a couple of times now. So starting tomorrow, the puppies won't be in here anymore. They'll just be in this area behind it. So that's what happens when they start climbing out. We know it's time for the next phase. Um, Nutmeg's over there just whining a little bit for her puppies and to come in, but um, I'm just going to keep her out because it's too warm in here for her right now. So um, we're going to start here with uh, Nico. Nico is the orange collared puppy. And here is our Nico. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Love, love the face on her. And uh, uh, on him. Oh, he's just, just darling. And you can see the, the nice eyes that are coming, that opened up, and the beautiful coat on Nico. Nice, straight. Oh, this puppy is gorgeous. This, he's cranking his head to see me. Who's talking to you? Oh, he's he handsome. The nice big feet and the stockiness of him. Oh, he's fantastic. And, and a great stop also on Nico. Puppies are just waking up and making a little squeaking noise. So again, this is Nico and a gorgeous puppy. Um, Nico was the second biggest of the litter. So he's a good size. He's going to be a good size puppy. 35 and a little plus maybe. Okay, so that's Nico. We'll see if with me talking to him and carrying him if they're going to get up and move around a little bit. Next is Scooby. Scooby doesn't have the collar on. And oh, no, next to orange. Okay. Right there. Oh, yeah. Right in the middle. Okay, this is our Scooby. Beautiful dark red coat. Oh, my Lord. Also a beautiful face, a beautiful stockiness to him. Uh, he was the, the littlest of the litter, but he's not far behind some of the other puppies. He's just gorgeous. Great face, deep red, beautiful coat. I'm just so pleased with the coats on these puppies. This is called a fleece coat when it's a straight coat. So there's our Scooby. <laughs> very, very handsome guy. Nice little wave to the ears. Beautiful puppy. All right, there's Scooby. And then we've got Misha. Misha has the yellow collar. I'm going to just turn the pool, which is easier than me turning. <laughs> and show you Misha. Misha's our little girl. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Uh, a dark apricot in color, yellow collar, a curly wave to her coat. It's just going to be stunning. Oh my gosh, she's just saying, I don't want to get up yet. They just ate about 15 minutes ago, so after eating, it's sleep time. So it's kind of where we're at right now. But who's talking to you? Huh, sweetheart? <laughs> That's such a pretty Misha. Hi. Is that the pretty baby? She is gorgeous. Nice, beautiful wave to her head and her ears. If you can see those ears, she's got a stunning coat. Very alert and looking around, wants to know who's holding her and who's talking to her. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful puppy. Just gorgeous. This litter is so fun. I'm just so happy with this litter. Okay, that's Misha. 
And then we've got Cooper, and Cooper's got the white collar right here. Oh, big guy. So baby, so sleepy. Oh my God, another beautiful, look at the ears. I just love the wave to these puppies. They're gonna have a nice uh, fleece. This, this one will have a slight wave to its coat, more so around the head, but the back is gonna have a slight wave. Great stop on on him. Cooper is a gorgeous puppy too, and and really getting to be a darker red. It's it's amazing how these coats are coming in so so strong. Nice feet on Cooper. Cooper should probably max out in the 30 pound range, 30, 34, 32, right around there. Gorgeous puppy. That is Cooper. And then we got Elsa. Elsa has the blue collar. I'll turn again. <laughs> I think she's in the pile right down the Oh, right here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Elsa's on the bottom of the pile. And Elsa's our little escapee. She <laughs> is so cute. Oh, my gosh. Look at that nice, beautiful, wavy coat. Oh, my God. The texture in her head is, you can just feel it. It's gorgeous. Oh, and she's saying, I just want to sleep. But you can see the blue collar on her. And a beautiful face. Nice stop. UPS is here, so everybody's yeah. letting us know UPS is here. Um, they have little white. Um, this one is Elsa. Elsa's got little white on her back, two back toes, which is so cute. Otherwise, very, very um, red in color. A lot of people call this a brown. I call it a red. Brown, brown to me is like the teddy bear there. It's a darker chocolate, chocolate brown. So this is our Elsa. And again, a beautiful face and beautiful thick coat. Gorgeous, gorgeous puppy. Just, all these are just falling right back to sleep. <laughs> so that's Elsa. And then we've got Percy. Percy has the black collar on right here. Here's Percy. Oh, shh, shh. Okay, Percy says, don't wake me up. <laughs> Gosh, what a doll. There's Percy. Nice red. Again, the curly coat to him. Uh, no, I mean, I have wavy coat. You can see the, the ears. Nice red tones and uh, a little bit lighter of a, a coat, the rest of his coat. And uh, noses and ears are, are darker. Beautiful puppy. No other miss, miss marks, as they're called. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful pup. Nutmeg. More of a light brown color almost. That's our Percy. <laughs> Never even woke up. Okay, and then we have Scout. Scout is the lime green collar. Collar right here. Here is Scout. And do you notice how gentle I'm picking them up? They don't like to be picked up real rough and fast. That startles them. They're in a deep sleep. So we do everything very gentle at this age and at any age. So this is our Scout. Fantastic face. Oh my gosh. These puppies, their, stout, uh, their stops have really impressed me. I, we weren't sure. This is one of my first litters and how they're going to come out. These are some beautiful stops and beautiful heads. Nice thick boating on her, on him. And uh, very straight coat. Scout will probably be in the mid 30 pound range also. 30, 35 range. Beautiful puppy. Just so cute that none of them are waking up. That means they're getting good food in them. Um, then we've got Sydney. Sydney has the red collar over here. Here's Sydney. Oh my goodness. Just gorgeous. A lighter caramel color almost. Oh, one of the other ones are making baby noises. Sydney is um, just a little bit on uh, the lighter side. She'll probably max out around, he will probably max out around uh, 30 pounds, I'm going to say. Beautiful puppy. Nice long eyelashes already and a great wave to her, to his head. Just a really nice stocky pup. Very thick and gorgeous. Nice face on, on this one too. Beautiful puppy. So that is Sydney. And the last one we have is Oscar. 
And Oscar is right. Uh, this guy. Oh, way over here. Okay, Oscar. <laughs> Let's turn it one more time. Oscar is the biggest, biggest boy of the litter, and he's snuggling next to the teddy bear that goes home with all the puppies. Here's our Oscar. Oh my goodness, he's a he's a light brown, a cinnamon color, kind of calling him a cream. Beautiful, nice, thick boy. Oh my goodness, he will be a. Uh, 35-ish or a little higher, I would say, maybe even towards 40 when he's fully grown. Great stop. Again, that's the nose, which is we breed to get him on the shorter side. And, oh, big yawn coming out of him. He is just a doll. This is, this is our Oscar. So, and a nice straight coat on him and really no other mismarks or coloring to um, Oscar. He's just a nice, healthy thick boned boy. He's going to be a, the largest of the litters all the way through, I'm sure. So that's the whole kitten caboodle here. All nine of them. They've all been adopted, like I said. Um, the next, I'm, I'm expecting two litters to be born, possibly this weekend. And um, those probably will be taken, spoken for, because I have a wait list of, oh, 36 families, I believe. But we got lots of stuff coming down the pike then after that. I've got four girls. I'm just waiting to come into season and be bred. Um, from the time they're bred until you get the puppy is a four-month turnaround. But the only way you're going to get one is to get on the wait list like everybody else. It just keeps growing, and, um, and, and it starts getting busy in September when the kids go back to school, and it just continues until around June. And spring is my extremely busy season, but going towards Christmas is also very busy. So if you're interested in getting a future puppy, don't hesitate. Get on the wait list so you're going to get one eventually. Once these litters are born in the next week or so or a few days, um, well, yeah, not this weekend, the following weekend is the target. Um, we should um, have... Um, Lots of puppies still going into the fall and winter, but the way I work it is if there's a litter of eight, I'll go right down, count the first eight families, and see if they would like a puppy or a pass. If they want to pass, they go, they they get just bumped up. They're not going to get anything negative happen to them. They just bump up the list. I never make you take a puppy. It's your choice when the right puppy comes, because you might want a specific sex. It might not work out timing-wise when they go home, things like that. So it's your call when you want this puppy and you can just pass them as many litters until the right one opportunity comes in fact for the next two puppies uh, excuse me the next two litters that are due i have nine families that have already have told me they're going to pass for various reasons so you never know you might be way down the wait list and get a call and there's a puppy available so that's why I, it's hard when people say how when will i get a puppy you know you might get one a lot sooner than you thought, but you might also wait. It just all depends on who passes ahead of you. So have a great week. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, talk, you, talk at you next week. Thank you.